This is an interaction that I made a while ago uh, about needle sticks. And I'll just play it through for you and show you how it works. And then I'll show you how I did it. So you get the question. You've got four responses. And you drag one of the responses to the drag and drop area. And then it goes to the full size. And if I got the wrong one, I can always hit try again until I get the right answer. Okay, so I will show you how I did this. What I want is I'll just do like a quick representation of the, the different choices in the original item. So I'll add a new layer. I'll call this drag and drop. And Instead of doing it all um, as complicated as the first one was, I'm just going to do shapes so you can have a quick representation of that. So for this one, I'm just going to do three choices. And if this was the real thing, I'd take the time to get it all even, but I'm just doing it quickly now. So. I'm going to name this. I'll call this one choice one. I'll call this one choice two. And you guessed it, this one is choice three. And I'll make them different colors just so that uh, it's easier to see what's happening here. So I'll make the the second one green and I'll make the third one orange. And then I will put a drop area here. So I'm just doing this quickly. I'll just um, change the fill either to no fill or I'll just keep this one white for this case. And then the outline, I want to uh, put some dashes there. And I'm going to rename this because that's always a good thing to do, especially when you have a lot of things on it and you forget what you called what. So I'll, this one I'm not going to bother with because it's rectangle one, two, and three. That's easy enough to remember. Okay. Now this one, I want this to go to the drag and drop layer when it's pressed on, so I'll add that. Now the drag and drop layer, I want to make sure that the hide other slide layers is not checked, or the hide base layer, we want to make sure that's unchecked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, and I'll make a new layer. So this one is going to be blue. And I'll pull that in. Now I'm going to make sure that this hide other slide layers and the base layer is not checked. I'm going to change this to just a straight line. And I'm going to fill this with blue. OK, and now I'll just copy that. And our second uh, option was green. So I'll just put this here, and I'll change this to green. And our third option was the orange. So I'll just change this one to orange. OK, so I want this one. To, I'll click that. I want it to jump to the drag and drop. I want you to take your choice drop it in here, and then have it go to one of these three layers, depending on what you picked. So I'll go to choice number one. I'll add a trigger, and I want it to show layer blue Oops. when the object is dropped on. So the object is rectangle one, and I can see that there. 
is dropped on the drop zone. And then I can save time and just copy this trigger, go to the second choice, paste it in, but I don't want it to go to the blue, I want it to go to the green layer when the object is dropped on. The object number two is dropped on the drop zone. And the same for the third option. I just have to change this one to orange. It's already updated to rectangle three and it's going on the drop zone. So now when I preview this, I'll click on this. We'll go to the drag and drop layer. If I pick the first one and drop it in there, that goes to that to the blue layer. And I'd have to replay this, but it will do the same for uh, the other layers as well. And the only other thing that I need to show you is on the original. If they picked the wrong answer and they hit the try again. Um, this, you can't see it on here, but this slide is uh, 1.3. So I just had a trigger jump to 1.3 if they click on this button. So it's just in, in essence starting it all over again. And that's how I did that interaction.